little boy. Are you just lounging on your balcony? Are you having a good time? Do you like it out here? I think you do. Look how handsome you are. Are you looking for your hors d'oeuvres? You've got your wine, huh? All right, this is the book Desi's going to write someday. Desi inherits everything. Oh, that's a pretty vase. I think that's McCoy. Yes. Yeah, it's really nice. They want, what, $16 for this. That's a good price. I remember getting into those skates as a kid. They used to scare the heck out of me. I haven't seen them in 60 years. Everybody, I am so happy to see you today. Thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi. And Desi has a spiffy new haircut that I want to show you, but I hope your week was a good, happy, safe one. And today we're going to do a couple different things. I went to a few thrift stores. I want to show you what I got, where I put it, and why I chose this item for my house because what I want to do is draw this line between our mood, anxiety, depression, and what we surround ourselves with in our decor. So I think this is really going to be interesting and pretty timely considering everything that we're going through. And there are a couple antique items that for the very first time I'm going to be able to put a link to my little eBay store. So if you see something you like it, you know, I'll let you know if it's in the store and you can get it for a good price, hopefully. And at the end of the video, I want to update you on a few things going on in my life and what's going on next week. So. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to have a good time. So let's dive in and talk about how we can make our home very, very comforting and relaxing. I don't know about you, but I never heard the term OCD until I was like, I don't know, 50 years old. But I do remember that this was something that was huge in my family. I would watch my mother and my grandfather go around the house and straighten everything so it was absolutely perfect and everything had a perfect spot and you couldn't move it and well, I'm like that. And as I get older, I think it has gotten worse. So I think that's why I love these straight, square lined furniture. My coffee table is straight. My dining room table is straight. And, but scientists have proven that what calms us down, what makes us truly relaxed is when we are in a room with curves. So knowing that these nice round shapes calm people down and make them feel relaxed, how about your home? How is your dining room table or your coffee table, your end tables, are they straight like mine or are they round? I would love to know that. I don't think you can have a conversation about your mood and decor without talking about light. Light is so important. The light that's coming in from your windows, but also your furniture. Is your furniture dark and heavy? You know, 
My last purchases have been a glass dining room table, a glass, beautiful glass plant stand, a glass coffee table, and why? I mean, what I really love is that antique farmhouse type look, but those tables do not reflect the light. So I went with glass because that's what makes me happy and it seems to illuminate the room, which illuminates my mood. So that's so important to me that I picked furniture. Even though I love the dark antique furniture, I wanted to make sure that these uh, pieces of furniture were glass and reflected the light. And if this is something that appeals to you, but you know you don't want to buy a glass dining room table, you can you can use glass centerpieces. You can use many different things that will bring in the light. A, a, a light fixture that is predominantly glass will give you the same effect as a glass table. And one of the reasons I think I've taken so much care with my balcony is because of the light. I put a little table out there and chairs and I've got real plants out there and it makes me so happy because of the light that I get every morning and afternoon sitting out there. I love it. Another way that I brought light into my life is, <laughs> that sounds so heavy, doesn't it? Isn't that a song, you light up my life? It, it is. I, I won't sing it, but who, who sang that song? Okay. Light twinkle lights. I love the twinkle lights. And you ask me about my twinkle lights all the time. And, you know, what kind are they? And I'm going to list them below in the description of what I love. These are little hanging ivies. And I buy these off of Amazon. And you can hang them wherever you want, and I think they make the balcony look kind of elegant. have done so many studies on color and they have found that orange is the color that can heal more than anything. Healing as far as anxiety and feelings of, of being afraid and you know that that fight or flight type mode. There's something about orange that diffuses that. Well now that I know that some of the art that I'm choosing has a little bit of orange in it. And I want to make sure that I love the print or, or the, uh, the subject matter that's being depicted. But when I saw this at the thrift store, I, well, I always say it, okay, I about died. <laughs> because it is of a little girl at the gate talking to a playmate or a friend, and you don't see her face. And there was something sort of magical about that and it took me back to my own childhood, my own life as a woman and how I feel sometimes that I'm kind of passing notes through the gate and not hitting maybe things head on but trying to tell my story in a different way than words. That's what that painting meant to me but also it's the color orange. As you continue to read about what some of these colors do to our mood, blue is something that we need to take great care of because blue can cause a lot of depressive uh, reactions in us. I did also pick this up at the thrift store and this just says farmer's market and it is predominantly blue, but there's red in it. And red is a very bold, happy, energetic color. So I thought, well, they kind of balance each other out. The number one piece of art that I own that you ask me about every single week 
is behind my shoulder here, and it is Christina's World by Andrew Wyeth. There is something about Christina's world that speaks to you. When you see that woman in the field, and you don't see her face, but when you see her frail body in that beautiful field, and she's so far away from the house, that speaks to you, and it spoke to me. And because I relate to that painting so much, that also brings happiness to me. week at Pinkies. That's a wonderful little emporium. And there's dealers from all over the state that uh, have booths there. So it's very, very interesting. And I did see this little pin dish. I think this is probably from the 1930s. I can't be certain what the material is, but I'm going to say copper. It could be brass. I don't know really how to tell, but it looks like copper to me, but I love the design of it. And it is not hand pounded. I believe this is a mold. So that's important to know. But one of the reasons that I got this is, well, a pin dish just brings back so many romantic memories. You know, like somewhere in time, she's taking the pins out of her hair and this sitting on your vanity looks so beautiful. thrift shop here I saw this beautiful piece of McCoy and I couldn't believe it I just I mean this one says McCoy on the bottom it's in perfect condition I remember I used to own this 25 years ago I believe this is from the 40s but beautifully made this is another piece of art pottery that I have that I love this is Roseville I know a lot of you collect Roseville there's something about that particular pottery that is magical candles I think are very soothing and very beautiful I do think candles are a little bit overrated there are some times where if a candle is scented too much, it will give me a headache. So I'm a little leery of candles being lit too close to me or too often. But the one thing that has given me so much peace, calmness, relaxation, just a feeling of happiness is my faux fireplace. Someday when I find that little house for me and Desi, if there is not a fireplace in my bedroom, I know, fat chance, I'm going to get a faux fireplace. They are so pretty, so realistic, so comforting. There's no scent. And the sound is very soothing. It's very low. And that one that I have here in my living room, I love it. And I would have paid twice what I paid for it I love it that much. I can turn the heat on if I'm cold or I can just turn the heat off and just have the ambiance of a fire burning. I love it. I need a very warm, cozy, soft, acoustic surrounding. That's, I just need it. And you know what? When you think about it, 
They say, if you want people to watch your videos, get a really good mic because the one thing that will make people click off a video is bad sound. Well, just extrapolate that to your home. Do your guests want to come in and, you know, have a little chat with you when everything is echoing? No, no, they don't. So my humble advice would be get some beautiful rugs that speak to you. You love the colors, you love the design, and you can afford it because rugs are so expensive. I've picked out some beautiful rugs from, from uh, Better Homes and Gardens that I just picked up uh, from Walmart, and they're, they're so pretty. I get compliments on them all the time. But the acoustics are so wonderful. Now, I know I... My apartment is all carpeted except my kitchen and foyer. But I still care about these acoustics. Every time you hang a piece of art on the wall, it helps with the acoustics. Every time you lay down a rug, it helps with the acoustics. So keep that in mind. Even your lampshades. What type of lampshades do you have? If you have linen lampshades, that will help with your acoustics. The warmer and more soothing your sound is where you are. Some of you like those water fountains, and I love those too. I've never had any luck with those, though. It's like they grow mold, and then there's weird things in them, and I don't know. They just don't work, and then they start making a grinding sound. Okay, I'll stop now. <laughs> Would you sing if there was no one there to hear? Would you dance if there was no one there to see your feet move? Could you be kind and generous if there was no witness to see your actions? Next week, I'm going to be doing a video called Being Vivian Meyer for a Day. And I tear up just saying the title. But I have been working on this video for a few weeks and it has taken over my life a little bit. And it is about a woman that I want to introduce you to, a great, amazing, talented photographer. But she didn't live life. She captured it, but she didn't live it. And she spent her entire life taking photographs without ever knowing that the world would see them. Her story is so deep and so compelling and it cuts a little bit close to home. Would I do what I do? Would, would I be on my back on the ground with the ants trying to get this shot of the sky through the tree branches if you were not there to witness it? I don't know, but I want to take you through the streets of my city, some of the worst neighborhoods that you could imagine, and I want to show you my photography. I want to bring Vivian to life for you, and I want to bring to life why photographers or artists, perhaps musicians, do what they do. And I think it's very illuminating. and. I think you don't, you sure don't have to be an artist to appreciate this desire that we all have inside of us to be heard and to be understood. cutest dog in the world. <laughs> I love my dog so much. Desi got a full spa day. He got a haircut, shampoo. He got his nails cut and buffed. He got his ears cleaned. He got his teeth brushed and whitened. He got a walk. He got a massage. He got a bubble bath. Okay, maybe not a bubble bath. But he got a bath and he smells so good. It's not going to stay. 
because he's kind of a stinky guy. But thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I loved every second of it. And if you have anything to contribute to how you make your house very calming, please leave it in the comments if you have time. I just love you to the moon and back. Please have yourself a wonderful, safe, brand new week. And when you're done with your week, yep, come back and see me and Desi, okay? All right, it's a deal. We'll be here. Party yoga. Look at, look at how serious she looks. It's like I'm gonna start yoga right after I stop hugging my ankle. Look at my baby. Did you have fun this week? Did you have a good time at the spa? You got your hair cut and your nails done. You got a nice walk and a massage. How about that? You, did you like it? Are you going for the wine? You want the wine? Okay. <laughs> Are you happy, boy? <laughs>